All right, hey everybody, this is Rosh, and you are watching FM9 Basics. This is a YouTube tutorial series uh, to help new and experienced users program all the Fractal products, including the FM9, the FM3, and the XFX3. So a little about myself. Once again, my name is Rosh, and I'm a guitar player and guitar tech out in the Los Angeles area. I build and program guitar rigs for a lot of different clients. Some of my clients include Steve Vai, Def Leppard, Melissa Etheridge, A Perfect Circle, Bush, uh, Dweezil Zappa, and more. Uh, I wanted to give back to the Fractal community and show some tips and tricks on how to program all their Fractal products, including the FM3, the XFX3, and in this case, the FM9. So if you want to view uh, more tutorials, check them out on this YouTube channel, or you can visit fm9basics.com, fm3basics.com, or xfxbasics.com. So uh, this video in particular is going to be dealing with the clipping uh, and explaining some of the clipping uh, situations and things that you might run into when you have an FM9. Now, if you've watched my previous clipping video dealing with the FM3, uh, this video is gonna be more FM9 specific. A lot of the topics might be covered in the same way, but uh, I wanted to address a couple things that are slightly different between the FM3 and the FM9. So as of recording this video, uh, the FM9 is currently on firmware 4.01. So one of the things that has been included in this firmware update is the input clipping indicator. So if you look right above the preset name, uh, right where those like mini tuners are, if you strum really hard uh, and not set your input sensitivity, you'll see this uh, input clipping pop up. Okay, now a lot of new users, when they see that, they, th um, they instantly think, oh no, I'm clipping my unit. So let me emphasize that you are not clipping your unit. This is just uh, the same thing I talked about. The input is going into the red. This is just the input sensitivity of the guitar going into your unit. So for example, if I am, you know, strumming lightly, you know, on the neck pickup of my guitar, in this case, I'm playing a Les Paul. You know, you're no longer clipping the unit, quote unquote. And again, I want to emphasize you are not clipping the unit. It is just the input sensitivity. So of course, strumming really hard. Now, of course, when you see an indicator like that, um, you may it may be distracting for you as you're using any of the Fractal products. But again, this is just a new feature to differentiate between uh, for users to differentiate between whether they're actually clipping the input or clipping the output. So if you're clipping the output, you're gonna run into this nasty digital distortion. That's definitely something we don't want. But input clipping is totally fine. The Fractal, uh, all the Fractal products can take, you know, boost pedals, overdrive pedals, fuzz pedals, hot pickups, all different things like that um, without any issue. So all, you're, all you would need to do is adjust the input sensitivity if you don't want that indicator to come up. Now, full disclosure, all my Fractal products, um, I keep the input sensitivity at the default. Doesn't matter to me, even if I'm using a guitar with super high output pickups. So uh, one of the guitars I have is a Sur Modern. It has super high output pickups. And again, I still keep it on 50% input sensitivity, which is the uh, factory default. It doesn't concern me at all. So um, if you wanna adjust your input sensitivity so that doesn't pop up, you can uh, go into FM9 Edit, hit the Setup menu, and then of course go to Input Levels. Now, as you can see, there are three input uh, sensitivities uh, that you can adjust, and these are for the three inputs on the FM9. And the reason why there's three is you might be using the other inputs for either a piezo, second output of your guitar, maybe you're, you are um, running an acoustic guitar into another input, maybe you have some kind of like stereo guitar thing going in, you know, one side is the electric, one side's the piezo, uh, maybe you're using the inputs and outputs as like an effects loop to, you know, um, bring in different uh, analog pedals uh, into your fractal preset. In this case, my guitar is just plugged into instrument one and our, our input one, and it's the instrument input on the back of the unit. And of course, to adjust your sensitivity on, on this, what you can do is uh, go to your hottest pickup and turn them wide open. So in this case, I'm using the bridge pickup of my Les Paul knobs fully at 10, and then I'm just gonna strum really hard, and I'm gonna bring down this, uh, this uh, knob 
until the input light goes away. You can also look at the input lights as, and you, uh, as it stops tickling the red, as they say. You can adjust the input that way as well as a visual indicator. <laughs> And so what I'm doing is I've clicked here and I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard to bring this down. So right around there, around the 16% mark seems to be getting going away. And, you know, what this is doing is it's just, uh, you know, adjusting the sensitivity to your guitar and then it's compensating on the back end. So don't worry, it's not the same thing as rolling off your volume knob as you go into a guitar amp or whatever. The tone does not change. All this is doing is just adjusting and compensating for the sensitivity and then making it up on the back end after the fact. So don't consider this as like a rolling down of your guitar volume or reducing the volume into the unit. This is just a way to adjust the sensitivity. So if you want to adjust the sensitivity on the actual unit itself, instead of using FM9 edit, I'm going to return this back to 50% and I'm going to show you how to do it on the unit. So you would go and push the E knob um, and then you want to use the nav buttons and you want to scroll down to the IO and hit enter. And then you will find yourself on this screen. Now, if this screen doesn't match, you might be on a different tab as one of these other tabs. So use the page left and right buttons and tab over until it gets to the input. Now, selecting the input, you can use the nav buttons to select which input you want. And it's indicated by the blue. And the blue is now highlighting input one, which is the instrument input. And you can use the value wheel to roll that down. And as you can see, it is reflected also on FM9 Edit. And again, you can do the same thing where you are playing your guitar until you see that input clipping going away, as you can see by the little mini tuners. And then there you go. So now, again, let me preface that this isn't clipping. You're not digitally distorting your unit or anything like that. This is just an adjustment of the sensitivity. Um, full disclosure, I always keep my input sensitivity at the default, regardless of the guitar I'm using. And I use a lot of guitars with a lot of different uh, pickups. Doesn't matter to me, um, but I can understand that viewing uh, you know, something clipping on the indicator can be distracting to some users. So this is one way to mitigate against that. Now I'm going to hit the home button on the unit. So it just goes back to the preset. Now this is going to, uh, so that section was just about, you know, adjusting the input sensitivity, uh, based on your guitar, obviously different guitars with different levels of output are going to be at different sensitivities, but again, for me, it doesn't matter to me. The unit sounds great, regardless of whatever guitar I'm using, regardless of whatever pickups I'm using. And I always keep the input sensitivity at the defaults. So now when you're actually getting into the clipping of the unit, the clipping you kind of want to avoid, let's discuss that. And uh, again, I covered this in my FM3 clipping explain video, but um, just in the uh, interest of being fully thorough, we're going to talk about it here. So uh, I'm on this factory double verb preset and I went to, you know, the dry scene just so there's no like, uh, there's no uh, any time-based effects. So you're just getting a really dry amp sound. Now, if you click the output block, you're gonna find that it's gonna give you the level of output right here. Now, the separation between this black and red line uh, right there is zero dB. And that's generally what we want to shoot for when we're leveling out our presets and our sounds. So for example, you build, if you build a sound or you modify a factory preset, you don't want it to go, you know, either super low like this. And then you also don't want to go super high like this. Now, keep in mind that, um, let's just go back to this preset and go back to this. 
Keep in mind that it is totally okay to go a little above the zero dB because I understand that you, you may want a, you know, a sound that is a little louder than the rest for like a solo channel or a lead boost or anything like that. It is totally fine. Again, you are not clipping the unit by going a little bit into the red right there. So right now we're gonna take note that this is 11 dB or negative 11 dB and that's getting right about zero uh, as I strum my bridge pickup. Now, if I raise this to maybe negative six, so that's five dB louder, is that the right math? Um, negative 11 and negative six, that's, yeah, that's five dB louder. Um, you're gonna notice that it's five dB into the red, quote unquote, and again, I wanna emphasize you are not clipping the unit. You can get pretty loud on this. So I'm gonna go up another, I'm gonna go all the way to zero. And what I'm gonna do is in the actual audio that you're hearing on this YouTube video, I'm actually gonna compensate by, so it doesn't just blow out your eardrums or anything if you're listening to this. So uh, don't be shy, don't feel free, uh, don't feel the need to turn down the YouTube video just for this demonstration. Okay. So pretty loud, not clipping. So I'm gonna reload this preset one more time and go to this dry scene. Now, what is actually clipping and the clipping we wanna avoid is the clipping that is going to turn on these uh, output clipping lights next to the status lights. So right here, you can see that right now, even if I strum super hard, those lights aren't coming on and I bypass this output one block just for the demonstration purposes. So now I don't have anything plugged into output two, so I'm gonna add an output two block here. And the reason why I'm showing this is that if we get super loud into output two, it's gonna trigger that clipping light. So for example, if I add 20 dB here, add 20 dB here, and add 20 dB here, it's gonna get pretty loud, but again, I don't have any audio plugged into that, so, and there's no audio going into that, but you'll see that with this much output, it's gonna trigger that clipping light. So this is the type of clipping we wanna avoid. As you can see in the output right here, it is going way above the unity. It's going 20 dB above that, and it's of course triggering that clipping light. It sounds awful. Now, in the interest of not going deaf, in the interest of uh, not <laughs> making you, the listener, uh, you know, totally destroy your speakers watching this YouTube video, we are not going to demonstrate what digital clipping sounds like, but that is a type of clipping that we want to avoid. So again, um, if I return this back to negative 11, which is the factory default right there, totally fine. And again, don't be concerned that if you go all the way into this output, it's totally fine. Again, you you see that it's not triggering the output one clip level. Just pretty loud. So these are the things that you don't have to be concerned about as you're leveling out your presets. I always tell my clients that, hey, if you're trying to level out your presets, use the factory presets as kind of uh, a template an auditory template. Try to get your presets to be about as loud as the factory presets. That's a good starting point. And then of course, if you need to get certain scenes and certain sounds to be a little bit louder, you can use, of course, the scene levels to adjust certain scenes to be louder. You can of course, you know, use a different channel on the amp block and make that a little bit louder. There are lots of different methods to do so. However, what I always tend to, uh, you know, uh, tell people and my clients is that most of the leveling, leveling you should do is in the level of the amp block. Try to get them all around zero dB unless they need to be, um, you know, a little bit louder, a little bit quieter. I don't tend to boost the level in any of the other blocks. So for example, the cab block right here, I'm not going to turn the level up on that. Um, when I'm, I always just use the amp block to level out and then I do the finishing touches with the scene levels in the output block. So, um, Again, I just wanted to offer some more, uh, you know, tips and tricks on what clipping actually is in the unit. Um, nine times out of 10, you are probably not clipping even though you see a red light. Again, take it from me, not a big deal. If you're getting that little red input light, you're getting that little input clipping, as you notice, it sounds fine. 
Now, if you really want like an ultra clean sound, I mean, this is not exactly the cleanest preset, but you can of course bring the gain down, compensate with the level. So as you can see, uh, I'm not, I'm turning on, you know, turning on the input clipping light, but I'm not actually clipping the amp. So if you're actually trying to avoid clipping the amp or making it, you know, break into overdrive, this headroom parameter right here is a pretty good indication. So you can see that as you get a certain amp to hit the headroom, it's going to start breaking up. Some amps are obviously going to break up sooner than others. This is the double verb based off the Fender Twin. Um, so for example, you can do, you know, something like the, uh, where is it? The Mark or the USA Clean. Oh, whoops, we were not doing that. We were doing the presets, there we go. Uh, the USA Clean, you know, the USA Mark IV or whatever, you can do the USA Clean right here. Let's bypass the compressor, the delay and the reverb. And again, you'll notice that the, the gain right here the USA rhythm right here is up. You can of course use like the USA uh, clean, um, pre-clean or something, and then turn the gain down. Again, triggering the input clip light, but I'm not actually getting the amp to break up or anything. So again, it's all about making sure that you're just leveling out your presets as normal. I wouldn't be too concerned with the clip lights. So uh, other than that, that's probably a good place to wrap it up for this video. I uh, just wanted to offer my thoughts on the clipping or air quotes clipping situation in the FM9. Again, most of the time I keep my unit on 50%. Uh, this is the default regardless of the guitar I'm in, but if you want to adjust to the, your input sensitivity so that clipping doesn't uh, occur. You can of course turn this down. And again, the thing to watch out for is you're trying to level out your presets to be around the zero dB mark on the output. As, as if you dig in. And of course, it doesn't really matter where you set the input sensitivity. So let's go down to like 16 or something. And if I am, you'll hear that the tone is exactly the same. So as you can see, regardless of wherever this is set, it's not changing the tone. What it is, is of course, adjusting the input sensitivity of the unit. So just keep that in mind as a closing thought. Uh, other than that, if you guys need any one-on-one -on -one help, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. Uh, would help, would love to help you program uh, whatever Fractal product you have. So feel free to contact me directly. If you have any uh, you know, topics you'd like me to cover in the future, feel free to leave a comment. Other than that, I hope everybody's well, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Take it.